What's up, YouTubers? Hard Worker 12 with you here, and we just got the first 2020 Cross Trek in pure red. This color replaces the Venetian red. Uh, I think it is an improvement. The Cross Trek's kind of a sporty looking car, and this is a sporty looking color, so I'm happy. Um, there's also some new features. I'm going to show you those. And uh, this replaced the Venetian red, so I'll show you a quick comparison there, and then we'll look at some of the new features. Just to get some contrast, this is Venetian red on the old 2019 Cross Trek, and that is the new pure red color on the 2020. I do think that's an improvement for Cross Trek. Okay, so a few changes on the interior. The USB charging ports are now right under there, under where the climate controls are. On the older Cross Treks, they were in here. We still have, oh, wait a minute, they were in here. We still have a regular charging port in the center console but the actual USB ports, which you would also use to hook up the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto, are now kind of low in the center console. Um, they added automatic climate control now to all of the cross treks. So I can just turn this knob and set the temperature. And they kind of changed this center display so that. Um, you can see what your automatic climate control situation is. So the center display is a little bit different and the climate control system is now automatic. The EyeSight driver safety system is now standard on all cross treks with automatic transmissions. Now this car is a premium. It still has the cloth seats just like the other one. No design change there. However, they have made the push button start an option on the premium model, which was not the case previously. So it is possible to get push button start as an option on premium cross tracks. And down here, you will notice the button that everyone hates, auto start stop. So that's the button to turn it off, which now means that it is standard. I believe on all cross treks with automatics for 2020, it will have the auto start stop system standard to save fuel. Uh, we'll have a look at the Monroney label and see if there's any reflection in EPA fuel economy ratings there. Another difference on the 2020 cross trek, a little bit of a new feature automatic locks. So as you start moving, the car will lock all the doors for you. So I apologize about the wind noise, nothing I can do there. Uh, the combined EPA fuel economy has gone up by one mile per gallon, potentially thanks to the auto start stop. It was 29 last year, but the city highway ratings remain the same 2733 uh, that they were on the 2019 models with the automatics. One thing I find interesting, so this Crosstrek is a premium. It has the eyesight system, it has the blind spot monitors, the moonroof, and the push button start, but the price didn't really go up. It's 28,123 on the MSRP, and that is pretty much the same price you would have had on a 2019 with the same equipment. The only difference is you do have a push button start on this vehicle, so a little bit of extra value there, and it's pure red, come on. That's a nice color. They did change the tail lights a little bit on the 2020 Cross Treks. They have kind of a smoked look to them. So that is another design difference on this vehicle. And you can see just for comparison's sake, these are the tail lights on a 2019 Cross Trek. So they didn't really have the smoked look on the 19, so that's just kind of to show you the difference there. So that is your 2020 Subaru Cross Trek in beautiful pure red. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a great day. 
If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And thanks again. Bye-bye.